It's the op-ed column in America's most famous newspaper that Americans are still talking and some gagging about. I almost wanted to vomit. Vladimir Putin's opinion piece in the New York Times was seen as a slap at the U.S., saying, among other things, that Americans shouldn't view themselves as exceptional. But what many may not know is that it was an American PR firm that was instrumental in getting Putin's column into the Times, Ketchum, a company with offices in 70 countries. What this is is an organization that hires a lot of uh, you know, people who work in advertising. Some come from the news media. Some come from government. There's a couple of speech writers for former senators uh, that work for this firm. Bill Allison from the Sunlight Foundation, which pushes for disclosure, believes people from Ketchum might have written or at least helped craft Putin's piece. Ketchum's representatives, some of whom work out of this office in Washington, deny that, saying Putin wrote the piece. They didn't make anyone available on camera, but told us they submitted the column to the New York Times on Putin's behalf. They say whenever they correspond with experts or the media on Russia's behalf, they always disclose that. Allison says Ketchum is relentless in pitching the Russian agenda, pushing interviews to American TV networks, putting out talking points. And we can even thank Ketchum for this image, right? Right. They push this to a publication called Outdoor Life. And, of course, it kind of fits with Putin, the image he tries to cultivate in Russia, of being a hunter and a fisher and an outdoorsman. All of it brings in big money for Ketchum. According to filings with the Justice Department, the Kremlin paid Ketchum $1.9 million for services during the six months ending May 31st. Other American PR firms have also raked in a lot of money from leaders like Saddam Hussein and Muammar Gaddafi. As for Putin's New York Times column, was the news consumer fooled by any of this? Shouldn't be. Uh, he may be angered. He may be incensed. But we know who Vladimir Putin is. There's no sort of opaqueness about that. He's the president of Russia. He's often in an adversarial position. All the public had to do was read the byline in this case to know where the views were coming from.